It's an annual thing in the North Country. In fact, it's why thousands of men and women are here. Cold weather training at Fort Drum. This year's report from News Site's Diane Rutherford. It's an enemy without a weapon, but it can maim and even kill. It is cold weather, and learning how to survive the snow and frigid temperatures is crucial for military personnel. After the Korean War, there was a lot of frostbite injuries, uh, hypothermia injuries, so the Army really turned to cold weather training to get soldiers used to being in the cold. This is not a course for the faint of heart, but Fort Drum managed to gather nearly 30 volunteers to take part in the Light Fighters cold weather training class. The soldiers are learning a variety of survival techniques, including how to start a fire with steel wool and a battery. Connected to the positive and the negative connector on the battery. And you can see I have a spark going there and any type of wind or air will begin to burn. Then there's a course on how to trap wild animals for food. The soldiers also learn how to take the snow and purify it for consumption. As the troops trudge through the week-long course, many of them say they can't help but to think of the soldiers who are enduring similar conditions in Bosnia. The troops in Bosnia and Fort Drum are on the same latitude if you look on the map there on the same latitude, longitude and latitude, so they, they're getting a good taste of what, what they're going through. Like the troops in Bosnia, these soldiers have also learned how to shelter themselves from the cold. It's a lesson that should come in handy before the end of the course when they have to spend the night outside. Diane Rutherford, News Site 7. And imagine spending seven and a half hours on a plane.